Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this uh, video, what I'd like to do uh, is continue on uh, from the previous uh, video. And what we did in the previous video is we took a schedule that was too large for, you know, like one column. We just split, up, uh, split it up into two columns in one sheet. But what we like to do, uh, if uh, perhaps you're in a situation where your schedule is so big that two columns in one sheet just isn't enough, you still need more sheets for that schedule, is to take a schedule, make a duplicate of that schedule so we can maintain the same formatting and columns and everything else, and then and uh, create uh, two different schedules out of that and use the, the, the filtering tool in order to uh, put uh, specific elements on one schedule and different elements in another on, that, on that second schedule and uh, divide it up that way and uh, you can make a, a, an innumerable amount of schedules doing it this way if you have a really large schedule to divide up so boy that was a lot to say so let's go just let's just get started with that so let's go down to our schedule section in our project browser and uh, look for a lighting fixture schedule. What we want to do is right click on it and we're going to copy that, or not copy it, but we, we, we want to make a duplicate view. And our option over here is duplicate. So we're going to make a duplicate of that. And what it does is it calls it right off the bat a uh, copy of lighting fixture schedule. We're going to right click on that. We're going to rename that. And we're going to get rid of copy of and keep lighting fixture schedule. All capitalized, of course. And we're going to call that uh, space dash one or just one would be fine. So lighting fixture schedule one will be that choice. And with the other one, we're going to right click on that one, go to rename, and of course we're going to call that schedule two. Both schedules are, do, are uh, exact duplicates of each other right now. So let's go to schedule one and uh, go to the filtering tool and let's go ahead and make changes to that. So go to filter. What we're going to do is we're going to filter the mark. The mark is a specific number given to a specific lighting fixture, even though it might be the same fixture, it's got a different mark. It's like having door numbers. Every door number is going to be different in a Revit project, and uh, that's the way it is with the mark. Type mark is the other one where it just gives you the type of the fixture. So all the fixtures that are the same type will have the same number to it, depending on what tags you put on it. So this one we're going to filter our mark. And we're going to make for our first schedule uh, less than or equal to the number 50. So all the sched all the marks on those uh, fixtures, 50 and less, are going to be on schedule number one. So we're going to go to OK. If we scroll down and take a look at that schedule, it only goes from one to 50. Let's go to our schedule number two and do uh, something very similar. Go to our filter button over here in the properties palette. Go to mark. And over here I called my mark fixture, by the way. I just changed the name from mark to fixture. So it's like fixture number. And this time we're going to make it a greater than, again, the number 50. And then go to OK. So let's go back and forth between those. Lighter fixture schedule number 1 has got uh, fixture numbers from 1 to 50. Scroll up or down, you can see that. Lighter fixture schedule number 2 has got 51 through 85. So now if we create a whole new sheet, Instead of our ceiling plan being A201, let's go to Sheets, go to New Sheet. Uh, we don't need to load a new sheet, but we're going to keep our title block ED&I. And I. Go to OK. Let's go ahead and rename that. So, go to Rename. It gives us those two uh, different uh, options here, both for the number and the name. We're going to call this 201. Actually, Sheet 202. And we're going to call this Lighting Fixtures. Make sure it's all capitalized. can't type this morning. Plan and fixture schedules and go to OK. Now we're going to put in our two schedules as we do as we would with uh, uh, any other object that we put in uh, Revit Architecture. So schedule number one is going to be on the uh, left hand side. And if your schedules are big enough then you would be putting these on different sheets. So we'll drop that into place. Then our lighting fixture schedule number two just for demonstration we'll put on this side. Now you can use your polar tracking to get those lined up. And uh, yeah, we've got those two schedules in there. So this one says lighting fixture schedule one over here. That one says lighting fixture schedule number two. Okay, I think that's enough for this video. Please join me for other ones.